Hello, boys and girls. Now that we have learned about Sandra Silsberweg and her abstract portraits, we are now ready to add some color. What I have here are my chalk pastels, my white tempera paint, and a paper towel. What I'm going to do is I am going to start with one color chalk pastel, and I'm going to dip the tip into the white paint. Oh my. I seem to have gotten way too much paint, so I'm just gonna dab a little bit off on my paper towel. Okay, now I'm going to take my chalk pastel and I'm going to trace over my pencil lines that I drew last art class. Now, you will see that you can see a little bit of my paint and the chalk color coming through as well. But at the bottom of my chalk line, there really isn't much paint mixed in there. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add a little bit more of that white paint to make sure that I have paint and chalk mixed through the entire line. There we go, much better. Now, I am going to continue to outline my nose with this color chalk pastel making sure each line has a consistent and even amount of chalk and paint. One thing we do not want to happen, boys and girls, is we do not want a big blob. Oh my goodness, now what? We don't want any big blobs of white paint on our paper. So I'm gonna take my chalk pastel and I'm just gonna make sure I spread that paint out onto my line so that I do not have a big puddle of paint. Now I'm gonna go back and make sure my line has a consistent even amount of paint and chalk. Now, since we are in art class and our hands sometimes do get a little bit dirty, you do have a paper towel at your table that you can use to wipe your hands off. And of course, we will be washing our hands at the very end of class. Now, I'm going to continue to do even consistent lines of chalk and paint all over my original drawing covering up those pencil lines as best as I can, making sure my chalk and my paint are even. As you notice, boys and girls, every time I move to a new line or a new shape, I am switching my colors. This is so we can add a variety of colors to our portrait. It is absolutely okay if you use the same color more than once, but we do want to try and use as many different colors as we can.
One thing that you want to be very cautious of, boys and girls, while doing this portion of our project is that you do not smear the paint that you have already put down. Oh no, I seem to have gotten a little bit on my paper. No big deal, but try your very best not to smear what you have already painted. I am now going to finish outlining the rest of my portrait, making sure I have a consistent, even amount of chalk and paint, and making sure I stay right on the pencil lines that I have already drawn.